Hello everyone, my name is Mohandan and my team members are Dan and Rulo. This is our project for our mass transfer course. Our objective and goal in this project is to examine the effect of viscosity and temperature on the diffusivity constant, which affects the rate of mass transfer. We will be using Stokes-Einstein equation to calculate the diffusivity constant based on the different viscosities and temperature and temperatures. We will also be measuring the time that it takes to the solute to dissolve in the solvent as a measure of the rate of mass transfer. In this experiment, we will be using the following materials, 100 milliliter of water, 100 milliliter of ethanol, and 100 milliliter of honey. As well, we will be using a food coloring thermometer, a stopwatch and a water bath to heat the following liquids. We will do this experiment twice, once at 25 degrees Celsius and the other time at 40 degrees Celsius. What we will be doing, we will add food coloring to each one of them and see how much time it will take for the food coloring to dissolve completely. And so we will be conducting this experiment under the hood here because as we all know, ethanol is, um, is flammable and uh, volatile as well. The ethanol we are using is absolute ethanol, which is 100% alcoholic. So we will be, we will be doing the experiment here and uh, we will leave it for like a couple of days to see the effect of viscosity on each one of them. Okay, after conducting research and using results we found online, we found out that out of the three substances that we used, uh, water had the lowest viscosity, followed by ethanol, followed by honey, making honey the most viscous out of all the substances we are using. So knowing this, once we conducted the experiment and we placed food coloring into each one of those liquids, we found that water, which had the least viscosity, had the fastest rate of mass transfer, which was measured uh, by measuring the time taken for the food coloring to completely diffuse uh, into the solvent. So basically, the food coloring diffused first in the water, then in the ethanol, and finally in the honey. However, due to the high viscosity of the honey, uh, we, had to leave the, we had to leave the experiment in the lab for a couple of days in order to be able to completely see the effect, um, in order to be able to completely see the effect on how fast the food coloring diffused into the honey. Once we had our results for the, once we had our results for 25 at 25 degrees Celsius, we then moved on to conducting the experiment at an elevated temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. Once this was done, we also saw we saw that overall the rate of mass transfer increased 
for each one of those for each one of those liquids for each one of those liquids uh, at a higher temperature so the temperature and the viscosity both affect the specificity constant and that's what we concluded from the experiment uh, in order to put this into more quantitative terms we used the einstein stokes equation through einstein stokes Stokes equation, uh, it was evident that the diffusivity constant increases with an increase in temperature, leading to a higher rate of mass transfer. However, with an increase in viscosity, uh, the rate of diffusivity decreases, leading to a lower rate of mass transfer.